So the first project I'll show you has to do with uh, how do we do interoperability. And, and I think that in this project we have a completely new idea and approach to it that I, I will talk about. Um, the second one has to do with earthquake, uh, with recovering from earthquakes. And for us in Israel, that's a major issue because we, we know that there's an earthquake coming by the historical record and the geotechnical information. Um, the third project has to do with construction safety. And there, again, we're using building modeling as, a, I think, quite a unique way. We had a pre an earlier project that dealt with scheduling and when are dangerous situations happening on construction sites. That was for management. And then, we, we, as we went through that and had results, we understood that most of the problem, or a big part of the problem are workers, and workers' perceptions of danger. So we're using the virtual reality for, for that. I'll talk about that a little. And finally, we have, uh, we have the CANBIM work that I talked about, which has to do with production control on construction sites. Uh, Mariana saw it, and you guys saw a bit of that in, uh, in Lima. But our real, our real difficulty, not only with that, but with other research as well, when we go to construction sites for research, uh, our problem is that there are, in the process, there are so many factors that affect the process of the construction project and we can't always monitor or control all of that. So we can do research, but we, the conclusions are very difficult. You can't do one building this way and another building your new way and compare them because there are so many other things going on. So in the fourth project I'll show you, we're trying to build a, a virtual construction site and have an engineer, a worker, or a foreman, or a supervisor be in the building and build the building in the virtual reality, uh, and then we can test one way or another way and, and lots of different things. Uh, so those are the four that I prepared. I, um, if you have more interest in one of them or less, then I can switch and change. How much time do we have? Then you'll have to, then probably you'll have to tell me when to stop. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've seen me in high bike and go on all that. Uh, no. no, it's the, the last down. Down. Oh, down. Yeah. Uh, so these are the four that I, I thought of. I'll just very quickly introduce the lab itself. Um, only two of you have visited there. But, uh, and then we'll talk about uh, semantic enrichment of the building models. The post deformation is the earthquake uh, work, construction safety, and the virtual construction site is the can. So our lab has um, really three, uh, two main areas that we work in the building information modeling and the lean construction. And more recently, we've worked in construction safety just because there's a lot of funding for construction safety. Uh, special reason. Um, our main tool is we have a three-sided cave um, where we, we can work in there. This is Benjamin, who is our uh, research engineer. And of course, just by as you've allowed me to meet all the people, and I thought, we're meeting Unicamp, so I'll uh, help you meet Tesla, and it's about the people. Right? And so these are the, the, the eight people who are active in, in the lab. Um, and um, the, the work I'll show you is just four of them of, of this group. 